Hi guys. It is a beautiful but windy day here in the great state of Texas, but uh, I am already thinking about my return to New York, baby. Back to Bugs in a Jar Farm and Gardens outside of Ithaca, New York. So for people who know me or people who don't know me, before I head over to Craigslist and just invite the whole planet in. I just want to make this short video for folks uh, who might be interested in this or know somebody who is. So, I have a lot on my plate uh, this summer, to put it mildly. I have too many irons in the fire and I have been thinking about what to do with my beautiful garden that I have been building over the last two summers. And I have decided I do not have the time or energy to invest in that beautiful garden that uh, I, I need to have available to me. So what I am doing is I'm just throwing this out there to the universe and see what comes back. And that is, I am looking, I don't know if to hire, not exactly the word hire, but uh, I'm, I'm looking for someone, and when I say someone, uh, I'm really talking about one person I might consider a couple. Okay, to basically to be the gardener uh, at Bugs in a Jar Organic Farm outside of Ithaca, New York uh, this summer. So essentially, I'm trying to figure out what that would look like, what that uh, position would look like, what I would be asking of somebody, what I would be offering and see if we're a match. And so I guess the most important thing on your mind is what is it I am offering? Well, uh, one thing you get to uh, hang out with the world's coolest little dog. Sancho Panza is the resident mascot uh, at Bugs in a Jar Farm and I am saying this uh, position as my gardener, as long as you have one small dog, uh, that's okay. No pit bulls, uh, but I guess if you have one small dog, Sancho needs a friend. So the setup at, at Bugs in a Jar Farm, it's, uh, I run a an Airbnb and a hip camp out of my little cabin. There's one cabin there, there's a tiny house, there's a camper, there's several campground, campsites in the campground up on the hill. So we're on 14 acres there, but the garden is separate from all of that. It is across the creek. So it's about one acre maybe a little bit less than one acre, which is the very tail end on the other side of the creek from the rest of what's going on up there. So it would be your private little garden, pretty much to do whatever you grow, whatever you want to. And I guess, is New York legal uh, this year? I think, can we grow six plants legally this year? So anyway, what you know, I'm, I'm hoping that this isn't all going to be glare. I found this. Uh, here is a a picture of uh, this is a just to give you a rough idea what the uh, what the garden looks like. Come on, you can tell how professional I am. I'm hoping that's not all just glare from the window. But uh, what the garden is, what I have done with it, it is beautiful. Uh, you know, for upstate New York, this is 
beautiful soil. This is bottom land. It's down in the floodplain and it is bottom land soil. I have already put it into 11 raised beds. Uh, I mean, there's like no rock in this soil. This, this is, you know, this is some high grade bottom land organic soil that I have already put into 11 raised beds. I guess they're, they're three feet wide and they range anywhere from 20 to 40 feet long, basically. So that garden right now has one four foot fence around it, which actually kept the deer out last year. So I have that, the raised bed garden inside the fence, and then where I grew corn last year, about, uh, I, I don't know, just about a quarter acre corn field. Uh, I need to get some fruit trees planted over there, but it's a beautiful spot. It's right on the creek. It is right on the creek, which means that it floods. It flooded three times there last year, so I cannot build there. So what I am talking about is providing a beautiful campsite. But understand, it will be a campsite where you, it, and it's just a tent. At this point, you cannot bring a vehicle all the way to your campsite. I, I mean, I'm talking, it's about a 50 foot walk from your car to the campsite. Uh, but right now, you cannot drive in there. You can park, you know what I'm saying, and walk 50 feet, but you cannot bring a camper, a trailer, or a motorhome in there. This is purely available for a tent, a yurt, whatever, but understand that probably at least once and maybe three times like last summer, the place will be two to three feet underwater and you need to be able to uh, decamp on fairly uh, quick notice and get your stuff out of the way. So I am putting this right out there that there is a chance and a pretty good chance that your beautiful campsite may be under water for, you know, it'll only be under water for a few hours until the creek drops back down. But this is a very likely possibility. So do we understand that? Uh, part so it is the this beautiful campsite that I'm offering and obviously all of the food uh, that you want to grow over there I, I just want you, you, you know uh, I want to be able to eat out of the garden basically and I will be helping out a little bit obviously so you will be feeding yourself and me and any anything else you grow over there you're welcome to sell at the Ithaca farmers market um, I mean you should see the amount of food that I ended up throwing away this beautiful homegrown organic produce last year and I do not want to go through that again uh, so you are certainly welcome to avail yourselves of the fruit of your own labor. And if you can grow enough food to sell at the farmer's market or whatnot, more power to you. And uh, I think that you should be able, I, and I'm wildly guessing here, that you should be able to put a couple thousand dollars uh, in your pocket from that. But I, that's a, a, as much up to you, more up to you than me. So this is not a paid position. You're just gonna be the gardener uh, over there. Uh, now I probably will have quite a bit of $20 an hour under the table work on other parts of the property, just general labor. So there probably 
is going to be quite a bit of $20 an hour cash on the barrel head work available for you. I am making no promises how much of that work is going to be available, what it's going to entail. Uh, and the rest of it, we, we just need to figure out. I need, you need to go out there, look at the site. Now, when I get back, now I'm getting back on May the 20th, so this position will not start till May 20th. As soon as I get back, I am going to till the beds in. So you will be starting with freshly tilled beds. I will cover the, the cost of tilling the garden originally, and I will throw in... I will throw in $300 of literal seed money. Okay, so I will cover uh, the cost of the tilling and the seed. And then you're pretty much on your own. Uh, now, what else am I offering? This is the part that I need to figure out about what is fair. You will have, probably not from your campsite, but you will have access to excellent internet. I can promise that uh, you will have a Coleman stove over in your campsite, so you're covering the stove. Basically, the three things we need to figure out are, are the, uh, the refrigerator, the hot shower, and the flush toilet. The, these, are, these are the three things. I don't see much of a problem with the hot shower. I really need to limit the use on the septic system. So I would prefer a composting toilet or a five gallon bucket uh, to, the, uh, to the flush toilet. Uh, the refrigerator, I've got plenty of ice chests. Uh, if, if, if nothing else, uh, you will probably be on your own on the refrigerator. Uh, but you know, there's no electricity, there's no plumbing, uh, and I doubt there's any internet where you will be camping. And again, the only other real requirement is you have got to have a vehicle even though at least at first uh, there will you won't be able to drive right up uh, you you have got to have your own vehicle i'm sorry to sound like that uh, we're a little bit isolated at bugs in a jar farm the cell phone service is pretty bad uh, we have excellent internet, uh, the cell phone service, you probably have to go off, uh, you know, go, go off the internet, plug your cell phone into my Wi-Fi for that. Uh, but anyway, past that, guys, uh, just you need to email me, just email Sam, uh, just uh, put you know, go under the subject line, gardening, uh, and, and we need to talk over the phone, meet each other, see if we're a fit, and then I will send you out there, and you can drive out there and look at the setup, what I'm talking about. And once you have done that, uh, and you're still interested, we will take it from there, and that is really all I can say about it at this point. Uh, so anyway, if, if you or anybody you know who you think would be good for this job, uh, just email me at collapsechronicles at gmail.com. Collapsechronicles, all one word, at gmail.com. Just say gardening in this slug line. And, uh, and leave a phone number so uh, we can have a conversation and I can send you some videos and whatnot. Anyway, 
I'm going to throw this out there for a week before I go on to Craigslist. If this video is still playing, if you are seeing this video, the position is still available. Hope to see you soon out in the garden. Bye, guys.